and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about the top 10 times that nature made us say nope. Nature can be beautiful, nature can be amazing, but sometimes nature can be both disgusting and horrifying. Join me as we look at some of the most stomach churning things our beautiful planet has to offer. Although before we do, I just want to remind you guys to leave a good thumbs up if you like our most amazing videos. Also, if you're new here, why not subscribe? Join the most amazing family. We'd like to have you. Okay, nature, what levels of nope have you got for me today? Coming in at number 10, we have the Pyura chilensis. Take a look at this horrifying sea lump. This is the Pyula chilensis, a static sea creature that can be found along the coast of Peru and Chile. It's basically a living rock, a really gross looking living rock. It gets even grosser when you cut into it too. Blah, so slimy. It literally looks like a bleeding rock and I can't deal with it. It's so gooey. Apparently this meat filled rock is some kind of filter system that sucks seawater and filters out microorganisms. You thought a meaty rock was gross, wait till you get a load of this blood oozing fungus at number 9. Yep, nope. This here alien looking oozy mushroom of doom is a Officially called the Hydronellum pecky. Because of its stomach turning appearance, the Hydronellum pecky is often called the bleeding tooth fungus or the red juice tooth. Either way, bleh, mushroom blood juice, just so gross. You may be a bit confused by the references to teeth here. Not only does this devil mushroom bleed, it has gnashes. While the top side of the fungus looks like it's oozing blood, fun, the bottom side has tooth like spines. Surprisingly, though, this grotesque looking nope of nature isn't actually poisonous, I guess it's just pretending to be. Coming into number 8, we have mouldy food. Mould is nature's way of decomposing food, but boy does it look disgusting and I guess that's the point, right? Food goes bad and starts to mould. We see mould as a sign that we should not eat that food, which is fair enough. Moulding food plates are an absolute hard no for me. Look at these mouldy strawberries, like they're very very gross, but what's worse is what nature does to your dishes if you don't clean them, so stop being dirty because bleh. Want to mess with mama centipede? I don't think so. Here's why at number 7. So here is a horrifying image of a mother centipede shielding her insect massive babies. How much would I need to pay you to poke this pile? Ooh. Yep, that's right, that's the cold hard nope from all of us here. This is terrifying. I'm suddenly so, so very glad that we're bigger than centipedes. Imagine if we weren't. Not even that. Imagine if they were like a metre long. Those pincery legs. Ah, I think this picture's gonna haunt me all day. Coming in at number six, just catfish in general. Hi, catfish are terrifying. That's all I have to say today. Except it's not, because they're truly terrifying and I really, really, really don't like them. If you want a cold hard nope today, then let me show you some footage and images of of a catfish eating pigeons. Firstly, a fish eating a bird is all kinds of absolutely messed up. Secondly, look how quickly this lurking fish manages to catch a pigeon. Want to increase the nope factor? Sure. Here's a picture of a catfish with several dead pigeons in its mouth. Want more nope? Here is a giant catfish. I don't like them. They need to be stopped. So yeah, catfish eating pigeons is truly horrifying and grotesque, but these sea nasties don't even need to eat anything to make me say no. Louder and harder than anything has ever made me say no before. We have the humpback anglerfish at number five. Sometimes nature's cute. Sometimes it presents you with the humpback anglerfish. Here he is. He's an actual monster. I say he, but this is actually a lady. The female of the species is terrifying, but the males are little rotters that climb on the back of the females like a parasite, fertilizing them forever. Ugh. Females are around 18 centimeters long, with the men just 2.9 centimeters. Like, dude, get off my back, you tiny sperm demon. So much nope about this monstrous fish. Coming into number four, we have frog spawn. One of my hardest nopes with nature is the way frogs come into being. Not only is frog spawn an awful word for frog eggs, spawn. Spawn. It's also a horrifying gelatinous lump. When I was a kid, I was actually truly terrified of frog spawn. My sister would pick it up and dangle it at me. Shout out, Julia. To be honest, I'm actually still very terrified of frog spawn. Let's have a little look at some pictures, shall we? So imagine this cold jelly clump running through your fingers. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. 
No, no. Nature can be beautiful. Picture rolling hills and idyllic beaches. But it can also be a literal nope inducing gateway to hell like at number 3. Why on earth is this intrepid explorer standing on a lava pile formed around an empty entrance to an active lava pit? That hole literally looks like a one way ticket to Lucifer. Also, while we're here talking about lava and volcanoes, whilst they are really, really awesome and cool and like a fun thing in nature, at the same time, like, no. Nope, nope to volcanoes, they're terrifying. Look at this volcano erupting at the end of a man's garden. Ah! Coming into number two, we have a tree that bleeds. In my opinion, all tree sap is pretty gross. It's so sticky and gooey and seepy. That in itself is enough of a nope for me, to be honest with you. However, in Africa, there is a tree that seeps what looks like blood, but it's actually red sap. The fact that it looks like blood is enough for me to give it an absolute double no. Let's have a few close up pictures of the Puetrocarpus angolensis tree, that's its official name. Yep, take a good old close up look and tell me if you can hold down your lunch. Lovely, right? Finally, at number one, we have one of the more horrifying plants I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the devil's finger fungus. The evolution of this little beastie turns my stomach from start to finish. So it starts off in some kind of protective shell sack, then it bursts free, gets really bloody and tentacly, and I just can't deal with it. Why does any kind of plant or fungus need to hatch? Like, stop it. I can just about handle hatching when it's like a cute little baby bird or or something, but when it's a devilish octopus looking like a slime covered kind of fungus that apparently smells like really, really, really no. It has to be nothing but no, right? Cold hard nope. Get out of my face nope. To make that worse, once these creatures have hatched, apparently they trap flies in their sticky spores and slowly eat their decomposing bodies. Say it with me one more time. Nope. So guys, that was the top 10 times nature made us say nope. And honestly, I am pretty grossed out right now. Which of these do you think was the most nope worth? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you've got an idea for a top 10 list, why not let me know? Us here at Most Amazing, we're all ears. We want to make content for you. For now, I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. If you want to connect with me on social media, there are links to my Instagram and Twitter in the description box down below. So, see you there. Also, I'll see you guys in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and bye. Nope. Bye. <laughs>